Hey, I'm Shelby. I grew up in West Texas, uh, where the three industries are cattle, oil, and cotton. And the priorities are high school football, Jesus, and thick steaks, probably in that order. Now, I wouldn't have eaten a vegetable if my life depended on it, which I guess it did. Then I went on a year-long world tour with a performing group, and we spent uh, several months in the Midwest. So during that time, I went to two cow slaughterhouses, uh, one pig, two chicken, and one duck. And I saw some horrible stuff, but I just thought, well, that's the way it is. After I came back, both my grandfathers died of massive heart attacks. My mother got cancer, my uncle got cancer. I, I gave up red meat. I thought that was what I was supposed to do to, for my health. But then I read a book called Diet for a New America, and everything came together. The things I saw in those slaughterhouses came flooding back to me. Um, I saw pigs in cages stacked five high with their legs having grown around the wire, so the farmers had to cut off their legs to get them out of the cages. I saw insane birds trying to peck each other to death, but they had their beaks cut off, burned off actually, so they couldn't do it. I saw cows hoisted up by one leg and gutted while still alive. I know it's pretty intense, but it's the truth, and I, I learned the hard way, and I hope you don't ever have to see what I saw, but I'm glad I did. You see, what I also learned is that the human body is actually healthier without animal products. So all the things I saw were for nothing. I thought, you mean all of that suffering was just because we like the taste of meat and because we think we need it? That we would be better off without eating meat, eggs, or dairy seemed impossible to my Texas brain. Here are some things you might be concerned about. Iron. Dried beans and dark leafy greens are actually a much better source of iron than meat. Protein. Most health problems in America come from excess protein rather than a shortage of it. With vegetables and legumes, you'll get more than enough protein and in a better way for your body. Vitamin B12 is actually from bacteria. It's in animal sources. And it also used to be in vegetables when we grew them in different ways and ate them with some dirt on them. You don't have to eat flesh or dirt to get it though. It's also in nutritional yeast, tempeh, and check the labels, it's fortified in tons of stuff like cereal and soy milk. Calcium. The primary cause of osteoporosis is the high protein diet that most Americans consume today. As one leading researcher said in this area, eating a high protein diet is like pouring acid rain on your bones. But why is it that in countries where they consume little or no dairy, that they have very little osteoporosis? That's because they get their calcium from vegetable sources. How do you think adult cows have strong bones? They eat green grass. The meat and dairy industry spend hundreds of millions of dollars to keep us thinking that we need their products for our health, kind of like the cigarette companies used to. Now, this isn't even going into the environmental stuff. You know, you can be a vegetarian in a Hummer and still be more eco-friendly than a meat eater on a bicycle. I often think of that old saying, ignorance is bliss. It was. I remember when I didn't know any of this stuff and I was just happy about it. But I can't deny it now that I do. I've seen the horrors that go on and I know that we don't need to continue it. We can change the world and we can stop this suffering. Now, a lot of people say to me, don't tell me what I'm eating, it'll spoil my appetite. Well, maybe it's time we had our appetite spoiled. But the only way that this is gonna change is if people learn. The average vegan saves around 100 lives of animals a year, and is healthier. So if you can save lives and feel better, why wouldn't you? Do some research. Find sources that aren't paid for by people who stand to make a profit by you buying or eating their products. The Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine is a good place to start. That's the PCRM.org. Change the world with your fork. Thanks for listening.